I, and you guys are good every year, but both indoor and outdoor. Some schools, they might have one good outdoor season, uh, then maybe not the indoor season, but I guess maybe not necessarily how do you do it, but how do you maintain that success and how do you not have a down year per se? Well, it's, it's interesting because in, in some ways, what you say is exactly right, where we can be rise and fall. I mean, it, because I'm both a boys coach and a girls coach, I mean, I'm basically the head coach of track and I've got these great people who help me. But in the, the boys won a championship indoors a year ago. And then this year we're, you know, we've lost Jason Gross and it's been a huge difference for us, uh, or Justin Gross. And so, um, so I understand that, yeah, that, you know, you get a couple of kids and then you have, you know, team rallies around that. I, I'm not sure. The girls have just, you know, it's been an ongoing thing and it's just been a number of kids, whether it's, you know, this year was Madeline Dulac, who was, a, you know, came to McDonough. Her mother's been here for 25 years and she's been here the whole time and somehow becomes a sub five minute miler. I mean, it's just like, how did that happen? I'm not really sure. Um, Kristen Brown's father went here and she went here the whole time and it's just, you know, very good, obviously. And yet, you know, kids graduate, but we get brothers and sisters who come back, you know, so at different times that helps. I mean, this year we've got, you know, Jasmine Robinson is a great captain, a great 400, 200, 100 runner. Um, four years ago, it was her sister, Nevin, who was doing the same thing. So that helps a little bit to have that. But in part, I mean, it's, there's no question success, you know, breeds success. And I think, you know, over the years we've We've really had these, a pretty good program. Um, we bring kids along, we keep them excited. Kids hear about it, they want to come to McDonough and, and they'd like to run for us. And, you know, we want to keep it light and fun and so kids will come out. And uh, so whatever, we've had a pretty good run, but you know, whatever, it might come to an end at some point. But right now is, yeah, we're living the good life, I'm afraid. And, and we've had some, you know, we have basketball players who come out and, you know, lo and behold, the Candace Hendricks becomes a you know pen relay, you know, uh, sixth place finisher last year with a with a 128 in the in the uh, discus. So it's some it's sort of crazy too that it just happens, you know, that we've got pretty good kids who are pretty athletic and do other sports and are willing to do track. And so, if you can get athletes out for your track team, usually that leads to some success.